In weather broadcasts, you might sometimes hear us talk about different types of frost. We may refer to a ground frost or a grass frost. Or even you might hear the words air frost or hoar frost. But what do all these terms mean and what's the difference between them? In simple terms, an air frost occurs when the air temperature falls to or below the freezing point of water, or zero Celsius. We measure the air temperature here, at around about a metre above the ground. If you hear the term frost in a weather forecast, then we're usually talking about an air frost. A ground frost refers to frosty conditions on the ground, where the surface has cooled to freezing or below. Often a ground frost will occur without there being an air frost. In this scenario, the air temperature would probably be somewhere between 1 and 3 degrees. In recent years, the term grass frost has become more popular. Now, this is just a type of ground frost which forms on grass or other vegetation, but doesn't form on concrete roads or pavements because they stay a little bit too warm. You particularly tend to find it through the autumn months when the nights are getting colder, but there's still some of the summer warmth left in the hard ground. It means that gardeners and growers especially need to be aware of this type of frost. A hoar frost is basically the same as dew, but in colder weather. It brings beautiful patterns, sometimes feathery displays when the surface temperature reaches freezing before dew begins to form, whereas a white or silver frost occurs when the dew forms first and then freezes. So there you have it, lots of different types of frost. So when the mercury drops, see how many different frosts you can spot.